Guys and gals, what is a lead before it's a lead? A mentor of mine, Dan Harris, from my favorite agency, Minds On, recently asked me that question and it got me thinking. Because I think so many of us are so charged about generating leads, but we rarely think about the origins and the life cycle of a lead. Dan's suggestion is that before a lead is a lead, it has to be an opportunity. And this opportunity is based on a need that a business has that requires the solution that you provide. And that totally makes sense. But he also asked, what is an opportunity before it's an opportunity? It's awareness. And here's why this clarity is so important. 68% of B2B consumers conduct research online before ever making a purchase. So a huge factor in your overall successful lead generation effort relies heavily on your perceived reputation online. And this is why brand awareness is so incredibly important. I think there's a dynamic in the market that needs to be debunked. Um, small one-time investments purely in lead generation will never pay off in the long run. Even large one-time investments in lead generation will fail if the prospects you're trying to reach have no clue who you are, you're not trying to educate, inform, or relate to them through brand awareness efforts and brand building, right? So consequently, building brand awareness should be part of your overall lead generation investment. It's not a question of should I invest in lead generation or brand awareness. It's really a question of how much should I invest in both, when, and at what cadence. And we're going to cover that in my next video. <laughs> I'm going to draw you guys some sick funnels and everything to help illustrate that concept. Do you disagree? Get at me, bro. Let's connect in the comments, via email, whatever. Until then, keep crushing it. We'll see you next time.